welcome you all for the online training program on problem solving using C language. I have posted a pre-assessment in Google Forms to check your understanding in uh, programming. Um, I could understand now that uh, many of you have difficulties in uh, programming. No worries, we will address those issues in our training program. In this video, I am going to explain you how to solve problems using problem solving approach. I have splitted the videos into two parts just for simplicity. Watch the video completely and uh, text your comments or what you have understand in the comment section of the video. Outcome of the training program. At the end of this online training program, the participants will be able to solve problems using problem solving approach, create C programs that uses operators, expressions, looping statements, functions and arrays with problem solving approach, debug the error in simple C programs. These are the three outcomes that we will be uh, targeting in this training program. These are the two reference books I am using for this uh, training program for problem solving. If you are interested, you can buy this through online also. Problem solving approach. What do you mean by problem solving approach? Well, it is a guided approach to solve problems. If you refer literature, you could find lot of materials related to problem solving methods in different contexts. But we focus on problem solving in software development. Any software or Android apps or games that we use will pass through this software development method before it is realized as a complete product. We will understand this problem solving method with a simple problem example. And here is the problem statement. A summer surveying job requires to study some maps that gives distances in kilometers and some that use miles. Create a program to provide the distance in metric measurements. Well, how would you solve this problem? Think for a few seconds and then we will continue. Okay, I hope you might have found some solution to solve this problem by now because it is a simple problem. But what if I uh, increase the complexity of the problem, for example, another problem uh, to compute the ele electricity tariff in a metropolitan city of few lakhs of customers. Maybe you have to compute the electricity with respect to consumption units also. So it will be more complex. Do you have a guided approach to solve these types of problems? Well, that is what we are going to see now. We will see uh, one step at a time. And this is the first step in this problem solving method. Problem analysis. What do you mean by problem analysis? It is nothing but a deeper understanding of the problem. When you read the statement, you will understand this is some surveying job that requires uh, the calculation of distances in kilometers and miles. And the program wants to provide distance in uh, metric measurements. That is what the understanding. Now let us identify the key words or constraints in this problem. So from the problem statements, we should be able to identify the key words and R constraints. This is the next step in our problem analysis. By this time you will be able to say the keywords and constraints. For example, you will say the keyword is a surveying job, kilometer, miles. Okay. 
and metric measurement here metric measurement is a constraint why we say metric measurement as a constraint read the last sentence of the problem create a program to provide the distance in metric measurement they want us to provide the distance but they want us to provide the distance in metric measurement so you should provide the distance only in metric measurement now that metric measurement becomes a constraint for this problem it is not enough that you provide the distance you have to provide the distance only in metric measurement now that is the constraint here so from that what we understand what is given what is asked if you say metric measurement distance in metric measurement is normally expressed in kilometers that means they want to provide the distance in kilometers so this is a problem wherein you convert miles into kilometers distances provided in miles has to be converted into distances in kilometer now you should be able to identify the input and output of this problem so input is miles and you have to convert that input into kilometer so this is the first step in understanding the problem it is called problem analysis what is the second step data requirements what are the data required to solve this problem well input in the problem you have to identify what are all the inputs given in the problem miles miles the distance expressed in miles is the input for our problem output yes you have to convert this miles into kilometers so that kilometer becomes output in this problem is there any required formula or rule or expression you need to solve this problem that is the next step in data requirement identify the input identify the output then identify whether you need any formula rule or expression of course you need some formula that converts miles into kilometers so you can uh, refer this in books one miles is equal to one mile equal to 1.609 kilometers so that is the formula we are going to use in this problem 